Okay, so one last example here using these sum and difference identities. So suppose we want to find the exact value of tangent of 75 degrees uh, minus tangent of 15 degrees divided by 1 plus tangent of 75 degrees times tangent of 15 degrees. Well, okay, certainly this looks like, uh, you know, our tangent identity here. And again, it says if there's a negative sign in the numerator, it says we're going to use the, uh, the difference identity. It says we'll take tangent of x minus y. And in this case, our x is just going to be the 75 degrees. And the y is just going to be our, our 15 degrees here. So uh, it says simply we'll get tangent of the first one, 75 degrees. Again, if there's a negative in the numerator, um, we, we preserve that sign in between. So we're going to keep a negative in between here. So really, we're just evaluating tangent of 75 degrees minus 15 degrees, which is going to be tangent of 60 degrees. But hey, that's just sine of 60 degrees over cosine of 60 degrees. Sine of 60 degrees is going to be root 3 over 2. Cosine of 60 degrees is going to be 1 half. Uh, you can always uh, simplify this a little bit. We can leave the numerator alone. We can flip the denominator and multiply. So in this case, uh, the 2's will simply cancel out and we'll be left with our solution of square root of 3.